All right, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4. So in the previous part, I did ask everyone to leave me suggestions for children's books. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now because there was a comment and it, and it had some pretty high ratings in the comments and it says, uh, the title of the book is Toby Has a Sleepover, the first installment of the amazing award-winning series of Toby the Llama's Adventures. Toby, a cheerful, smart eight-year-old llama, invites his friends Nara the Zebra and Poe the Panda Bear for their first sleepover. And together they spend time playing, sharing pizza together, and telling each other scary ghost stories right before bedtime. It turns out that Toby's favorite teddy bear, Chunky, or no, not Chunky, Chucky, excuse me, went missing. Will the three friends find him together in a suddenly dark and quiet house before Toby's parents can reach or catch them out of their beds, excuse me. And I just thought that was a pretty cute story, so I'm... Tigers Don't Take Naps is a very cute story too, <laughs> but anyways, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit in the entire description that they put in, but I'll at least be able to... Oh, actually, I wasn't even able to... <laughs> put the abridged version that I wanted that's okay there we go so that is what I have going so thank you so much for all of you leaving your suggestions uh by the way that particular book title uh was suggested by let me see what is their username I'm so sorry it is uh terracotta I believe is how I you pronounce it so thank you very much for leaving that suggestion um so I'm going to be trying to record videos in advance, and because of that, oh, who turned on the radio? Whoops. Well, I guess maybe the ghost did. I'm not too sure. When is everyone going to go to school? In two hours. So because I do want to upload videos more frequently, I am going to have to probably batch record beforehand, which is kind of unfortunate because I do like to upload a video and then read the comments, see what you guys have to say before I do anything. And oh, we actually have to reach level six of the logic skill with uh brandon so let's go ahead and head on over to the park that way we can level that up a little bit we're obviously not going to be able to achieve level six before going to work but we can at least work on it a little bit but like i was saying i'm not exactly sure how often i'll be able to use book suggestions because i'm going to be recording videos um kind of in batches now which is normally something i didn't really used to do but it's very clear that people want video updates more frequently and in order for me to do that I'm going to have to pre-record videos and because of that I won't really be able to incorporate any of your suggestions so I do apologize for that but I'm glad that I was able to at least use uh, the children's book title in advance so just in case uh, you know you see a difference of me not really mentioning any comments or anything like that. It's because I can't see them because I'm recording them in advance and it's kind of difficult to do that. <laughs> oh man. All right. So work for Brandon starts in about one hour. Um, it's fine. He's over here leveling up his skill. By the way, we do have to get one of our Sims to reach level 10 of the mechanical skill or handing the skill. I forget what it's called in this game. And the reason for that is because once you reach uh, level 10 of the handiness skill. That is when you can actually access the secret area over here of Oasis Springs. And I know there's multiple ways to go about getting a, which I'm call it a cow plant, but I believe you can get one in this particular area, though I'm not exactly sure because I've actually not uh, found the cow plant just yet. I've only been able to play around with it by entering by debug mode and I don't necessarily want to use a cheat to get it in this let's play. But anyways, I had him stop doing that so he can go to work soon because it starts in four minutes, which is seconds in real time. Oh my goodness. Is that Alexander Goth? I think it is. Yep. There he is. What's up, buddy? Oh, he does not look like he's in the best mood. Oh, well, that's okay. Everyone is pretty much going to be at school however once he goes to work we will have the ability to control Daniela and I think we still have to level up her gourmet cooking skills so I think that's what we're gonna work on once we get home okay so here we are and let's see when is she gonna go to work so she doesn't go to work for another three days oh damn okay so she has to reach level seven of the gourmet cooking skill and also reach level three of the charisma skill so that's fine um we'll go ahead and try to invite a friend over 
let's see, we kind of are sort of friends with Bella Goth, so let's ask her to come out to our current lot. We'll also invite Nancy over. Oh, apparently we don't have the option to do that. We probably don't know her well enough yet, but we can at least invite her over. That way we can talk to her a little bit, and we will go and make some gourmet food. Let's see what we can make. So I'm not going to use fresh ingredients, and I'm going to make... Hmm. <laughs> what about this? Here we go. We'll make a family-sized portion of that. And we have to cook 20 excellent large meals. Okay, never mind. We have to cook large meals, so I'm assuming that means that we have to cook the party size of the gourmet stuff. Or just any meal, really. It doesn't have to be a gourmet meal, but we're going to go ahead and prepare that because we do have to level up our gourmet cooking skill. Anyways... And we are going to have to throw another event. That way we can cook five gourmet dishes. And I think when I do that event, I will probably literally have Daniela be the only one in the kitchen. And I'll like remove the door. That way no Sims can come in here. And then I'll like just click and drag the food out here. That way the Sims can enjoy it. Also, when I do throw a party in the future, I will make sure not to invite so many Sims over. I was just pretty enthusiastic about having a costume party that I invited like everyone around the block. And as a result, you guys saw that it was a huge nightmare. So I think next time when we have a more intimate sort of uh, dinner party, it will be a lot more relaxed and there shouldn't really be that much of an issue of just a crap ton of people in our household. It was just kind of hard to accomplish all of our goals with that many people there. But there we go, look at that. We got some garlic noodles, they look pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the fridge. Did we invite Bella Goth over? Maybe I accidentally canceled that. I'm not sure, I'll send her an other invite yet again. But I'm just gonna keep cooking these gourmet cooking skills because hey, or not skills, excuse me, meals, because we have a whole bunch of things to do with our aspiration and work. So if we actually go to the skill, let's see. So she's actually almost there. She's 62% of the way to level seven of the gourmet cooking skill. And then that's when we can focus on charisma. And I believe by simply just talking to Bella Goth, we should possibly be able to also increase our charisma skill that way. So I'm pretty sure that I invited her over like twice. Oh, she says that she's busy now. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't read that notification. I was just so caught up in the center. I mentioned this, but I bought a whole bunch of new monitors and it's still like a weird adjustment because I'm so used to my screen being so small, but like now I don't see the entire user interface. So like I just see like this portion here and I have to like physically move my head to look at the notifications up here. So I did not even uh, see what was going on there. But anyways, uh, apparently we're going to be a bit of a loner today since Belgoth does not want to hang out with us, which is fine because it's all good. We have to make a really kind of absurd amount of meals so i did make a blog post recently by the way on my website and basically i talked about what i like and dislike about the sims 4 and this was one of the things that i don't really like is how the aspirations i feel are a bit too repetitive sometimes like for instance having to cook 20 excellent large meals i get that this is a long-term goal but the game kind of seems like it's designed to finish an aspiration and then move on to another one and i i don't feel like it's really optimized for that because it's just so repetitive i'm like cooking 20 meals like are you kidding me like i guess maybe 10 would be a little bit more ideal for me personally but anyway she has reached level 7 of the court gourmet cooking skill excuse me and she can make a lobster now so that's pretty good and like even with brandon you know i think i was complaining about this in the let's play before where we have to go like show off to 15 sims for some reason <laughs> and it's like doing that back to back isn't the most exciting thing to do and uh i just prefer more of the sandbox type of gameplay where you just do whatever you want but still are able to progress and sometimes i feel the aspirations are just a little bit too strict and kind of forces you to play the game their way and it's just i don't know a bit of a hassle because i feel like I'm never going to really uh, accomplish these aspirations without looking at them. So I end up actually looking at the list and I'm like, okay, I have to do all of these as soon as possible. <laughs> but I guess that's my own problem. But anyways, we're going to obviously have a whole bunch of leftovers, which is fine because we do have that ghost of ours that has died of hunger. So he's going to be hungry all the time. And speaking of which, don't worry, I actually 
The reason I have a ghost here is, first of all, just to show off the ghost in the game, and I don't think I've shown off too many of the ghost interactions yet, I'll try to do that soon, but also I do want to show off Ambrosia, which is a certain meal that your sims can make to revive other sims. So since I do have plans for Mac and also uh, Phoenix, right? Yep. Mac and Phoenix to be together, I will have... Uh, Daniela eventually be able to make ambrosia. I think in order to do that, we have to master cooking and gourmet cooking skill possibly. And I know that gardening is also another prerequisite, I think. I haven't actually looked into it myself, but there's plenty of guides online, so I'll figure it out. No worries. And then eventually, that's probably going to be like a long-term goal. I don't think that we're going to be really making, be making ambrosia anytime soon. But once we do, we will feed it to Phoenix as soon as possible, and then he'll return to his human form. And wow, is she going to reach level 8 of the gourmet cooking skill already? I guess we have been having her do nothing but cooking and practicing her skills, so that makes sense. And <laughs> we could throw away all those meals to the trash can, but I feel like we don't have to do that anymore. Now that Maya is incredibly amazing at painting, we can rely on her for that now. So this is all I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and edit this out. And then um, I'll come back once some of the other Sims come home from school and work because uh, we can only make her or, you know, watch her cook for so long. So I'll be back. Some of the uh, kids are back home from school. Also, she has made 10 meals altogether. She's making her 11th meal and I decided to go ahead and make the lobster that she recently learned how to make. And yeah, she's already at level 9 gourmet cooking skill because she's always very inspired and that's certainly helping her boost that a whole bunch, which is pretty legit. So at least we're over halfway cooking 20 excellent large meals, which is great. Now, let's see, what are the others up to? He wants to write two books. I'm going to have him go and continue writing his uh, children's book. Toby has a sleepover. As for Mac, let's see how he's doing. So he's a little hungry. Well, thankfully, there are plenty of leftovers to eat. So he'll go eat some leftovers. And then let's see. Okay, when does he age up, by the way? He doesn't age up for another nine days. And what is his video gaming skill at right now? His video gaming skill is at level five. I'm going to have him actually go ahead and start leveling up his programming now because he does have to practice programming for 10 total hours. So we'll do that. And once he goes into the tech guru career, that is going to be one of the first prerequisites that he needs. Guess what we're going to do with Maya <laughs> since she is feeling flirty. Let's go ahead and do a flirty painting. And all we have to do is create a uh, four more masterpieces and then she will finally get the trait for the expressionistic trait which basically means that I think she can paint any mood painting so that is pretty legit and okay this is what I decided that I'm going to do with Maya for the time being so if she makes a masterpiece then I am going to sell it however if or no no excuse me I got that wrong if she has a masterpiece I will keep the masterpieces from now on if she makes a normal painting though I'm just going to go ahead and sell it so I'm only going to keep her masterpieces for the time being. Chances are I might even sell some of the masterpieces later on. But I guess I'd rather treasure her like super amazing paintings for the time being. And oh look, there's Alexander. It looks like he wants to hang out. Uh, let's have Daniela go ahead and invite him in. That way he can uh, chat with Maya while she's painting. But point is, I'm going to try to keep um, Maya's paintings. That way I can... What is with that? Sorry, this is just such a weird bug. I guess whenever you invite them in here, they feel inclined to go and open this grill? Like, that's not the first time that's happened, so that is just really bizarre. I don't really know why that happens whatsoever. But I, I do know that a lot of people have been uh, wanting me to keep some of her paintings, so I will do that. And oh, look at this one. This is perfect. Uh, it's just in time for the pools that have been patched in this month yep wow i can't believe it we're almost in december which means that the new jobs will be coming out soon and oh by the way let's see so what is this this is flirty work but is it a masterpiece no it's not it's an excellent painting okay so we're gonna go ahead and sell this then 
But like I was saying, I can't believe that it's almost going to be uh, December because that means that we're going to be getting the new jobs, a Christmas sweater, which by the way, it's going to be like a snowman uh, sweater that they're going to be adding into the game. And oh, there's a lobster. We have so much food. We still have some leftover pizza too. And also the gallery, which is over here. Uh, before you could only go to the gallery in game. However, if you don't have the Sims 4, now you can just go to thesims.com and there should be a link to the gallery there and you can actually view everyone's creations online now, which is super convenient and awesome because before you would actually have to be bothered by booting up the game and <laughs> well, why are you, wait, whoops, sorry, you're writing a book, that's fine. I thought I told him to write the book on this computer, so I thought that maybe he was playing games or something. But there we go, Alexander and Mac might be hanging out, or not. Okay, he just decided to leave. So Phoenix can now also self-publish books, which is pretty cool. So once he finishes children's book, we can go ahead and start making a little tiny bit of profit with that, which is nice. So we're gonna put this lobster over here. Oh my God, there's so much food. <laughs> and Brandon just got home from work today. Sweet, and he brought a thousand simoleons. So I'm going to have him actually, let's see, when does he go to work? So he goes to work in two days. Okay, we're gonna have him go and box in the meantime then. I was gonna have him go ahead and buy something to raise his logic skill, but I'm gonna hold off on that for the time being because we need to focus on leveling up his fitness skill for sure. He needs to achieve level 10, which is gonna take some time, but hopefully we'll be able to manage that uh, soon enough. And let's see. So she's doing a classic painting currently. And because she is a perfectionist, obviously it does take her a longer time to finish, but she does actually make better quality paintings as a result. As for Phoenix, let's see. So you have to increase this and then you'll be in a much better mood. And by the way, I know a few of you were telling me to uh, that we should beat writer's block in advance when he's like not so skilled in writing. So I'll look into how to do that because apparently that is uh, something that can be challenging if you don't do it fast enough. So I'll look into accomplishing that as soon as possible. And Daniela, let's see. So you go to work in two days. I know, I'm sorry, but you need to keep cooking. And then the reason I wanna put such a huge emphasis on finishing this particular aspiration is because I want her to not worry about cooking as much anymore. And after this, I'm just gonna have her focus on gardening. So we are going to go back to the nature aspiration and we're gonna try to accomplish the freelance botanist one for a few reasons. There's just, uh, it, it just goes so hand in hand with cooking and you know, we need to get that to make the ambrosia anyways. So it'll just be a nice transition. I think it was good that we ended up actually focusing on Master Chef first because she's been able to bring in a whole bunch of cash, which is really awesome. And speaking of which, we have 3,000 simoleons right now. That's not too bad. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have this continue to be the... Oh, did she master the gourmet cooking skill? I think she did. Also, Phoenix just finished writing his entire book, which is awesome. And yeah, she reached a uh, gourmet cooking skill level 10. So that is really cool. And let's see what else happened. Uh, that was just an achievement notice. Okay, so I think we can self-publish that book somehow now. Let's see, we can analyze, rename, place in world. Uh, let's see, I think you might have to go to the mailbox to do that. Yes, okay, but obviously he's kind of in a crabby mood. So we'll have him go use the restroom, eat some food, and then we're gonna have him self-publish. Toby has a sleepover, which is super legit. Now, ooh, this is kind of cool. But like I said, I'm only gonna keep the masterpieces. So let's go ahead and sell this, cause I need the money. <laughs> and that's plenty of painting from Maya, so we're not gonna bother her for that anymore. I think with this remaining cash, um, okay, first of all, I need to buy some more windows, cause I know a lot of these window or rooms that I've placed don't have that much lighting in them. So I will go ahead and buy some windows here and there. And then also I've been meaning to, hmm, let's see with this room downstairs, what am I going to do with it? I think I'm going to leave it empty because you know what? I'm going to put a bunch of windows in here. I think that I will have this be, hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna make this, 
yeah, I'm going to make this Phoenix's room for the time being because eventually once he's older and Mac is older, they'll probably share this bedroom because I think I could probably squeeze in a double bed in here. And then this particular bedroom over here, I want to leave it open for uh, Maya and Alexander's future child because she's going to be aging up soon, actually. She's going to be a young adult, I think, in two days or three days. Let me see. In three days, she will be aging up, and then her and Alexander, I'll have them, you know, get engaged. And then right away, I want to have them try for a baby. That way, we can get started on our second, no, our third generation. Wow. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And um, I think this is a pretty decent size for a kid's room. And then upstairs, uh, we also do have another room for um, when Mac and... Phoenix get older and they adopt a kid, we can have another uh, children's room up here or where Max's room used to be. Actually, there's plenty of room. I have a lot of rooms in this house, I just realized, <laughs> which is great. But anyways, with the remaining cash, I probably won't be able to really expand it that much, but I've been, oh, this isn't matching up. I'm gonna have to fiddle around with that later, but I do wanna focus on our backyard some. I wanna close this off so that they stop coming to our back entrance. I don't know why they keep doing that. They should be knocking on the front door, but they don't. And I'm going to try to like close this off with some hedges and just, um, I don't know, try to pretty it up. I don't think that we'll have enough money to do it, which is 3000 simoleons, but eventually we'll be able to make it look a little bit nicer and a little bit more private. And I think that this house is getting almost to completion. Once I have more furniture in it, I'm probably going to upload it to the gallery. And then after that, I don't know, chances are I might eventually just move them in, in, into an entirely new home or like a new lot so I can at least expand the house even more because our family is starting to grow quite a bit. It's um, definitely had a huge overhaul since the very beginning of this Let's Play. The other day, I actually went to the first part and I was like, oh wow, the house has like changed so much. It's pretty nuts. But anyways, Phoenix has self-published a book. He won't make as much money as selling rights to a publisher, but he will receive a small amount in royalties daily, which is pretty legit. All right. Well, oh, look at that. I don't know why, but Danielle is over here just painting, probably because she's feeling a little bit inspired. But you know what you should do when you're inspired? You should go and make another gourmet meal because I want you to start on your gardening soon enough. <laughs> all right, but that is all for now. In the next part, I will have Daniela and Brandon focus on their skills. We need to get her to level three of charisma and with Brandon, he needs to get to level six of the logic skill. So I'm gonna be focusing on those two aspects. Please do not run into your son in the restroom. This is another another thing I don't like about the Sims, the fact that like they always run into each other. It's in the restroom. It's very weird. I don't like it. <laughs> but thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.